Hello, hello. Welcome back to Divine Destiny Guide. I pray you're doing well wherever you are. Again, sending you love and light. I have a message here for you. Welcome, soul tribers, new soul tribers, returning soul tribers. You're blessed. You're highly favored, highly, highly protected. God is for you. Who can be against you? And remember, we are on top. We're already on top and we're going higher. So I hope that this message and pray that it finds you in the best of health and we're going forward in spite of it doesn't matter what the circumstances look like around us god is for us and that is our hope christ in us the hope of glory that is what matters that's what it's all about keeping our eyes on the prize okay so here we are. So they've been telling people that you are going crazy. Churchgoer or religious person. So these people who have been gossiping and lying on your name, they're churchgoers. They're religious people. Uh, people who they have a look, a form of godliness. But definitely we know that behind closed doors and even out in display these people are they are devilish they are hypocriticals or hypocrites they they lie they steal they're jealous they're envious they're slanderous and malicious as well all because you are chosen this is why they decided to do that but after going through this, Spirit is saying it's time to forgive and it's time to heal. Yeah, they lied on your name. They lied on your name. So, of course, the first thing, when people don't want you to seem credible or people to really not pay attention to your story or what you have to say, they quickly will say that you're crazy. And we're, we're seeing that more and more even, you know, out there in the public where a lot of people who were told that they were crazy by people who hurt them, now we are seeing everything come out. That no, nothing was wrong with this person. But then again, when you have this people or person within certain authority, how do you challenge them? You know, people are going to think that, oh, you're just trying to make some money. You want your five seconds or five minutes of fame. So then they deem you crazy. And so people will write you off. They say that you're playing a victim. And so this is why they, they first will throw dirt on your name. And then they will say you're crazy so that people will not pay you any mind. But yes, they lied on your name. Also, it says there they assassinated your character as well. A lot of these people who you believe in, trusted, these church goer religious people, they wanted you, this is like my three of swords card, they wanted you in heartache, heartbreak, and to be disappointed. They wanted the worst for you. Again, it's like who, who is more beguiling are more snakish people who you least think or thought would hurt you right you we tend to trust those people more we let our guards down around these people and so you know for people for anyone to break your heart so many times it definitely has to be people or someone that we trust so you know to be so close to us and they are the ones who who cause the most pain. But Spirit is saying you are unstoppable. Yeah, you are chosen. You are unstoppable. It's like no matter what, they can't dim your light. They can't block your shine. You have a calling. Again, you don't need to go around proving your point. It's like surely, surely your sin, their sins will find them out. Again, everything is in the dark, is coming to light. And again, this is the year of karma. So everybody who've been doing a lot of things, sneaky things in the back, last year the light is shown on them and it is playing out now, this year, because it's like the karmic justice. It's like those who are dancing on top of your graves, 
those who were rejoicing quickly because they thought they had it in the bag. They are the ones now who are stopping their track because God is stepping in and saying enough. Judgment is called, whether it's you calling it or God is doing it, towers are showing up and people are realizing that everything in the closet is shaking out. You know, it's almost like in a, in a building or a house where things are hidden behind closed doors. And now it's like those walls are falling apart. Now people can see from the outside all the mess that's been going on on the inside. So it's like everything is now on public display for the world to see. And those they were calling crazy, now people are seeing they're not so crazy at all. So a lot of these people are in spiritual jail. And this is torment, eternal torment. It, it reminds me of that, that part in the Bible where the rich man died and went to hell. And the poor man went to heaven. And while the rich man was in hell, he was begging because when they were when they were alive on earth, he scorned the poor man because you know the poor man is filthy, he had sores. But when they died, it's like he was now begging for this same homeless man, the poor man, if he could just bring a tip of water to put on his tongue. You see, this is how tormented these people are going to be. Because see, they didn't think about it, what they were doing. And it's like, you know, God is upset because it's like, woe is he. Woe is like, you know, it's like judgment to the one who leads my sheep astray. Again, this is why he gave his warning. Touch not my anointed. Do not my selected, my chosen ones any harm. But these people, they believe that because they could fool people by this look, this outward appearance. That they had it in the bag. They could keep fooling people, everybody all the time. But I'm telling you, God is rocking these people, rocking their boat. He's rocking their boat because you are a leader. And again, this is why when people don't want you to come into your blessings, they will say you're, they will deem you as if you are not fit for the job. They will tell lies. They will slander you, your character to say that you're lazy. You're codependent. Somebody's taking care of you. Whatever means necessary, they will try to block your progress. Because again, they don't want people to see you. You know, it's like Cinderella and those wicked stepsisters with her mother. Before they went to the party, they said, close the door, go up in the attic or wherever the basement, you know, don't let anybody see you. They don't want anybody to see you. But I'm telling you, won't God do it? Won't he do it? Because you are meeting your soul tribe. These religious people who cause you heartache, heartbreak. No, you thought they were the ones. You thought you would find solace with those people. But no, absolutely not. They are demons. It's like they're dressed, looking, like I said, on the outward. They look like it. But this is how the Bible called them. They're whitewashed sepulchre. On the inside, they're filled with dead man's bone. They're, they are lifeless. They are cold. They are heartless. This is why they are critical. They are just there for their own self-serving behavior. You know, it's like they have a whole, like, I think the song, a jars, jar of hearts. You know, it's like they, they, I remember when we were younger, they used to say, the, call the men who would kidnap children and hurt them, they call them black heart men. Their heart is black. It's like, you know, they gain your trust and then they rip your heart out. Judgment day is here. I'm telling you, judgment day is here. These people... I mean, they are afraid and they should be afraid. Like I said, whether you call judgment or God call judgment. And I didn't even see that card. 
But I'm telling you, it's like enough is enough. Awaken. It's like the scales are falling from your eyes. People are seen. This is public display. When you talk about judgment day, every knee shall bow, every tongue confess. Everybody can see who is risen. Who get up because those in Christ shall rise. So that means the ones who are not in Christ or of Christ, people are going to see their grave not cracked open. So it's like all this time they have been living this self-righteous life. But then, you know, again, not everybody says, Lord, Lord is going to enter in the kingdom. So this is when everything is on full display. Judgment day is here. Order in the court, divine is saying. It's like you've done enough. You've done enough. You've done misleading my people, my sheep. Like I said, woe is he who leads his sheep astray. Before he left, he, he told his disciples, feed my sheep. Take care of my sheep. Now God have to call you out, the chosen one. You who are unstoppable to go into these environments where these people are, who are doing wrong, who are misleading people, who are breaking people's hearts by giving them misinformation, false information, slandering the people who are righteous in right standing with God. Because at the end of the day, we all sin and fall short of the glory. But the picture that this person or these people were painting on you, it's definitely like you are the worst of the worst. You don't deserve to eat, to live, to sleep, to breathe, to have love, nothing. You're crazy. Yeah, it's a lot of, see, these people are going to spiritual jail because it's a lot of deception and envy that was done here they were be able to deceive a lot of people like again they envied you because they see that you're a natural leader but they just didn't want you to be believed they didn't want anybody to trust you they didn't want you to get that break so they lied and i'm telling you for a lot of these people even if they are not, say, you know, religious, Bible-thumping people. But these are people on the outside. They would look, trust, you know, like you can trust them. Again, it's like they are in, they align themselves in communities, in groups, where you think it's about love, it's about peace, it's about joy. But in fact, they are working for the devil. Because only the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. They throw rocks and they hide their hands. It's like they're breaking your heart and somebody walk up and they put their hand behind them and like, Oh, how are you? Like, you know, behind their clothes or under their gown or their robe. They're not doing a lot of messy stuff. They wipe them out clean as if they're not eating and talking crap. And this is why spiritual jail is here. This is judgment day, order in the court. Divine is putting an end to these false people, these falseness that these people have been going out and, and carrying on. See, yeah, the trap backfired. Absolutely. The trap backfired. And as a result, you're taking back everything that the devil stole from you. For a lot of you, a lot of us, these people wanted us to be asleep. And now you stop sleeping on yourself. They wanted you to be tired, to miss opportunities. Look, angels are protecting you. Absolutely. From all of these lies and mischief here. Yes, yeah, someone competing with you. Isn't it always... We saw the deception and the envy. They wanted what you have. They know you're a leader. They know you have gifts, talents, and abilities. That's unique to you, but they wanted to take it. 
they wanted to have to block and stop you from going where you're supposed to and see the sun is here. Yeah, so there is light shining on this. They can't stop you. They can't stop you from getting this success, this victory, this happiness. Truth is here. Positive outcome. Yeah, let them talk. Because at the end of the day, they're, they're going to have to swallow their own tongue. <laughs> the whip. The whip. Over the heartache and heartbreak. They were trying to create conflict. Drama. They were abusing their power. They wanted to see you in pain, hurt. This is what these people, self-righteous people, these spiritual haters... Yeah, even though you're unstoppable and you're chosen, but they wanted you to be at a cross crossroad where you are confused, you're hesitating, you have choices it's like, what should I do? You're juggling. They wanted you to be conflicted. It's like they wanted to confuse you like it's all fools. They are something. They know you know as a chosen one, your path is ahead of you. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and everything else will be added unto you. But they were trying to create so much conflict with the whip where it's like you don't even know your, your right hand from your left hand. Yeah, and a lot of these people, they were trying to create mountains, blockages, obstacles. This is why they are going, they are going or they're in spiritual jail at this time. And this is why God said to forgive and heal because it's like, God wants you to heal and forgive. Release it. It's like when you heal and for, when you forgive, you're casting them over to God and say, you, you, you have the final say. Finish it off. From the root. You know, it's like throw the book at them. Because you free yourself from this. And this is why when the enemy tries to keep us so hurt and heartbroken is like when real love comes up we can't trust it when the real deal real is like when people tell you the truth you don't believe because you've been hurt so long and that when you've been hurt so long or so much it's hard to forgive it's hard to heal so this is the beauty about forgiveness and healing is that it removes you because god cannot you know it's like two heads can't do this thing is either you or me, which one? And I prefer God to do it because when he does it, it is well done. And I'm telling you, when God does it, sometimes when you hear about these people, because we are not stopping, we are already unstoppable. We are not stopping to see what is going to happen to them or trying to figure out what their karma is. But I'm telling you, whether you live to see it or you hear about it, so if you hear about it, you may even want to pray for these people. I'm telling you. Because, yeah, spiritual jail is here. Spiritual jail is here. It's like they did too much. They played in the face of God, thinking that they can hurt his people and get away with it. And they were doing it for so long with this whip here that for a long time they thought, oh, they keep talking about karma. They keep talking about vengeance. Oh, we're getting away with it. They thought that they would. Yeah, they thought with the ship they were getting away with it. They thought they were moving along with, with your blessings. You're a leader. So they thought that they could move on. You know, with, with the three here, it's like a group collaboration and this is why the sun is here to bring light because see above the ship is a lot of cloud a lot of illusions that they were putting in the minds of people about you a lot of lies so that you would miss an opportunity as a leader with the ship movement you would miss out on your blessing but you're meeting your soul tribe see in the garden People that you will be able to network with, your group. Opportunities, blessings. No fake, false people. People who, are, who know their purpose in their life and are on their path, they don't have time to compete with you. And we saw the car that someone is competing 
Only lazy people stop to watch what another person is doing. Stay in your lane, keeping your eyes on the prize. When you're building, you don't have time to look on the other side to see what is going on. You're focusing on mastering your craft. Yeah, judgment day is here for these mouse. Yeah, these people who wanted to stress you out, deplete your energy. They were trying to steal your blessing. This is this is the charge. This is the charge for these mouse people. These are the people who are in court. These are the people who God is calling out to say, change 23, that's five. They wanted you to be sick with the disease here. These are the charges that's against these people here. Wow. Deception and envy. And I'm telling you, I try to keep my cards in the upright. This one is in reverse, the ring. Over deception and envy. They didn't want you to get this ring in the upright. It's a promise. Commitment, partnership, a deal, a contract, a cycle. I can't make it up because they see you're a leader. They wanted you to miss that opportunity. So they wanted you to miss this promise, this commitment, this partnership, romantic or platonic, this deal, this contract, this cycle. I'm telling you, these people work really hard to create mountains. Put mountains in your way, obstacles and challenges, so you would miss your blessings. Yeah, the trap backfired because you're a star. You're a star and achievement. All your wishes are going to come through. You're a healer. You're a light worker. Again, you are chosen. Soul tribers, again, they cannot stop the star from shining. I don't care what they do because this is over the car that says trap backfired. The same hole that they were digging for you, they are now under the same dirt. And now that you're taking back everything, that the, the enemy, the devil stole from you, you're taking it back? Yes, it's the clover, luck, opportunity, chance, happiness, trickling, blessings. When I see luck, I see blessings. You're taking back everything the enemy stole from you. Yeah, they wanted you to sleep on yourself. So a lot of you, you were feeling tired, while these mouse, they were working overtime with the cross here. They want you to be burdened in grief. See, religious, these are people who have a form of godliness. They wanted to change your faith, your destiny. Yeah, they want you to sleep on yourself. And divine is saying, stop sleep. It's like wake up from your slumber. You know, it's like push against the grain. They wanted you to miss an opportunity. Again, they were slandering you that you're lazy. You're going to be a burden to people. <sighs> Angels are protecting you with the book. The book. Education, knowledge, research. Yeah. It's like the story is already written. The book is already written. You know, like this is how the story ends. What God has for you, it's for you. And no man and nothing can stop it. God is the author and the finisher of your fate, your destiny. And it doesn't matter what people say. They cannot take you out. They cannot block they may try to create delay, but delays are not denials. And while you're in your season of waiting, you're really not waiting because you're working in and on yourself. This is only another chapter in your book, your life. You gain education from all of this. You are more knowledgeable. You're wiser. You're like that sage. You walk away empowered. It's like no loss here, only lessons. And now those lessons are your blessings. Yeah, for the stork. This is positive movement forward. New beginnings. And I'm looking on at this other deck. It says here as well, new beginning. New beginning. So the stork, it's positive movement forward. You're transitioning from a time of lack 
dealing with falls and toxic misleading people. You know, a time of you heeding the call because you were stagnant with a lot of, of people who are slow, slow, negative mindset. And divine is saying, come out from among them. Be he separated. It's like the sun is here shedding light on what's been going on underneath the background all this time. That you had no idea. And he's making a way out of no way for you by providing you with your soul tribe. And calling judgment. So yes, it's karma all around. Like I said, 2024, it is karma all around. So you are getting your good, they're getting, and I mean, it's like, it's whatever that we saw, that's exactly what we're reaping now. So they lied because they want you to miss out on opportunities. They slandered your name. Wow. They put obstacles and challenges in your way. These people wanted you to be confused, to cause blockages. Wow. Mm. All because you're a leader. You're a leader. You're a natural born leader. Yeah, new beginning is here, guys. Beginning. New beginning is here. It's a new day. And Spirit wants you to know you are protected as well. You're protected. Some of you, communication is coming in. Again, another card of healing. Self-healing. And we saw it here. Heal. Time to forgive and heal. So if there is any resentment, any grudges that we are going through or have, any remnant, divine is saying, let it go. Let go. Let God. I'm going to take care of it. I'm going to take care of it. So for some of you, while you're at this crossroad, you know, it's just be still. Pray, ask God which direction to take. You see that? Your ancestor, you're being guided right behind you. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. So you are protected. God is with you. It's like, yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Why? Because you know God is with you. He's with you. You are not alone. Even though you look alone, chosen one, you are not alone. Because your new beginning, it's here. It's here. And you're protected from these evil doors. You're protected from evil people. People who have, you know, this, this friendly look on the outside. They look the part. They dress the part. But underneath, they are pure evil. They're toxic. They stink. They're rotten in on the core. But they were able to fool a lot of people. And I'm telling you, you are protected, God is saying. I love it. I love it. Yeah, this is a time in your season of new beginning to rest. Rest after labor. For a lot of you, a lot of us, we have been going through it. A lot of attacks, spiritual warfare going on. And you're tired and weary. This new beginning, you'll be able to rest and organize your mind, Spirit says. Get your thoughts together. Woo, karma, I can't make it up. I did not see, I haven't seen these. I shuffled where divine says to stop, I stop. But karma, karma is here. I can't believe it. It's over judgment day, the mouse. Karma is here for these people. So this is what I'm saying. They've been doing these things all along because some of these people, a lot of them, they really don't believe in God. They don't fear God. So they think that no justice is coming. They've been saying all this time, da, da, da. So they kept doing it and they pushed the envelope. But it's here. God is saying, let go. All of this under healing, let go. Forgive. It's like, give it to me. Give it to me. I know they lied to you, but let it go. You know, with the owl here, you're wiser now. It's like, let it go. Release this burden. You see, with the womb, it's like she's holding her belly. It's like the people who are close to you. You know, that's like your gut, your instinct. It's like you should have followed your instinct. A lot of you, these people, try to block that over deception. Ooh, purification. 
yeah a lot of you and again the all the wisdom you're pure your heart is pure friendship look your soul tribe true friends who oh, it's decision time it's d day i'm telling you it's like she's standing there and the all is coming in it's like it's decision time. It's D-Day, judgment day for these iniquity workers. Yep. Over the book, it's your prosperity. And again, she's holding the womb. It's like the empress, the emperor. You're pregnant with potential. See, with your pregnancy, uh, you know, they've tried to block the gifts, the talents you have. And now you're going to give birth. Spirit has said it's time to relax self-reward i love it oh this is such a beautiful message this is a powerful message this is time to reward yourself to laugh again to relax again i mean look it's like all along it's like the owl was your guide and it's like now you can be at peace you can be at peace now even it's like your angels can rest because I'm telling you, these people, they did too much. They did too much. Oh, my goodness. I really hope the people for this message will get it. Yeah. Wow, I love it. As you explore. And a lot of you need to appreciate. Give God some thanks. Give God praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name for he is good. Oh, the battle is already won. I love it for you.